A memorial service was held for one of the three people killed in a tragic San Pedro plane crash recently. Torrance City Cable reporter Tao Ta was at the Western Museum of Flight at the Torrance Airport, where family and friends said their final goodbyes. Hundreds of people looked into the distance here at the Western Museum of Flight to remember the life of 72-year-old Mary Falstrom. Her favorite thing was to go out and look at the beauty by flying around the hill here on the Palos Verdes Peninsula. Falstrom was one of three people killed in a mid-air collision over the Pacific Ocean off the coast of San Pedro. A lot of us were very fortunate to be able to fly with her. The memorial service was filled with flowers, handwritten messages, and a moving tribute. Many close to her say that Falstrom died doing what she loved the most. She said that Friday, she said, uh, it's too pretty a day, I got to go flying. And I just said, have fun, and that was it. And she was just another day, she was going to go up again. She was just um, so good to so many people that it's hard to lose the good ones. Falstrom developed an interest in aviation at a young age. She eventually became a stewardess for Northwest Airlines. After leaving the airline industry, she worked for Boeing in Seattle and later Raytheon in Los Angeles. Then Falstrom began volunteering at the Western Museum of Flight in Torrance. And I remember her, you know, getting in her golf cart and riding up and down the hangar rows and visiting with us. You know, we'd get back from a flight. So where'd you guys go? How was it? You know, where are you going off to next time? But she was always just a joy and, and very sweet and She'll, she'll be missed. We would both have our dogs out there and take our dogs walking together and just, just talk, you know, just talk about what was going on. And she was just so sweet and, and just loving and just a nice person to be around. Mary Foster's passion for flying has now led a scholarship to be created in her honor to encourage other women to get back into flying. Women who have um, lost their currency and gotten a little rusty can apply for the scholarship and get back into flying again. So we've done that in Mary's name. In her later years, Falstrom also served as a member of the 99s, an international organization of women pilots, and the Duomo Flyers, a local flying club. She was a very, very, very wonderful aviation enthusiast. I hope she's saving me a good seat up there in a big hangar in the sky. For Torrance City Cable, I'm Tao Ta. Thanks, Tao. Mary is survived by her husband, Richard, son, Chris, and her brother, Jerry.